theft from inside a prestigious tennis club, numerous credit cards and IDs stolen, and investigators say they know who did it. The Westside Tennis Club is a private club, and it's known for hosting some pretty big tournaments throughout the year. Tonight, though, tennis is not the focus. The focus is an investigation involving one of the club's members. Yes, investigators say they have arrested a member for the thefts. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live at Westside with a story you'll see only on 2. Brittany? And the Harris County Precinct 1 constable tells me that he was originally contacted by the owners of this tennis club saying that they felt like something was wrong. They believed that someone was breaking into the locker room. He said that after they started digging into this string of thefts, they determined that the alleged thief in this case was a member. I looked uh, in my tennis bags. I looked back at the club. Lonnie Jackson thought he'd simply misplaced his wallet. I talked to several people. I looked at Lost and Found. He was playing in a tournament at the Westside Tennis Club, but when the credit card company started calling about fraudulent charges... Within a couple hours, I would say. He realized it wasn't just Lost. Jackson wasn't the only victim, and the alleged thief likely passed him in the locker room. He was pretty slick the way he did things. Harris County Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen says the man and in the baseball hat is Joseph Emerson, a club member. He would go there, you know, and act like he's working out or act like he's doing something when really he was just going there and breaking into lockers, finding people's wallets and, and stealing. Cash, credit cards, and IDs. Rosen says that Emerson was caught on surveillance cameras buying gift cards with the stolen cards and then sold them for half the price. When investigators spoke with him at work, they say he confessed to everything. He unfortunately has an addiction problem. And uh, sadly, that's what, what we determined on this day. Emerson was booked on a felony fraudulent use of identifying information charge. And in all, there were eight victims. Pretty sick feeling because I had my uh, driver's license. I had a uh, regular credit card. I had health cards. I had my medical cards. I had about $200 cash in there. Jackson says he's grateful to the club and investigators for clearing things up quickly. Sunday. But he's already made some changes. I um, was no longer carrying my new wallet in my bag. I did reach out to Westside Tennis Club, but management declined to comment at this time. Meanwhile, Constable Rosen says that this is an ongoing investigation and there likely may still be more victims. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.